confidence, just the confidence is, is there. Which a lot of times is the demise to uh, <laughs> most of my airplanes. I don't feel confident. Stay humble. I know, I'm <laughs> trying. It's just fun is what I'm saying. Super fun. Look at that. Is it possible to be humble and do a knife edge super low to the ground? Is that, that's not being humble, is it? If you want to be humble, do you have to do the knife edge 10 mistakes high? Well, that's a humble knife edge. Let's try it. So that was a boasty knife edge there. This is what you call a humble. <laughs> not bragging, just doing a knife edge. You're funny. Welcome back to Plane Week on the RC Sailors where we're having just a blast with a lot of really cool, some of our favorite RC planes. And those of you in the know are gonna really appreciate this. Let's put the battery in together on this airplane. Ah, look at that, three in. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> you would think that that would have been around for a long time, but uh, that's what all RC planes need to do now. No more turning them over. This is the Turbo Timber Evolution, or the TT Evo as we like to call it. A little bit of wind today, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. We love this airplane. I love my Turbo Timber. And now with this better, upgraded, improved version, it's just that much better. So I talked a lot about this in our Maiden video. If you guys want to know everything that is upgraded and improved upon with this airplane, be sure to watch our Maiden. But if you're here to have some fun, let's fly. I think this is by far the best looking turbo timber. I love that red. It just pops extremely well with that white and black. And this plane does have safe and telemetry to let you know when your battery's getting low. Uh, but I'm not gonna fly with safe today. I just wanna enjoy it. We've got flaps. And just know that if you are interested in this airplane, we'll have a link in the description box below. If you use those links, you're not only helping to support our channel, but you're helping to support our family too. So we appreciate you considering using those links. Let's fly. Yeah! This is flying on 4S. This will fly on 3S or 4S, but I personally Power. I and Abby and the family went to a very small RC event not too long ago, just under the radar. We just wanted to show up as normal people, not the RC sailors, so we didn't announce it or anything. And the one and only plane that I brought to fly, Abby, what one was it? Uh, another Timber. A turbo Timber. <laughs> I didn't want to bring this one because I didn't want to be like super boasty because it's still on pre order, you know. I just wanted to bring a plane that everybody can buy. So this one, is still on pre-order. It'll be shipping extremely soon. And it's just a ridiculously awesome plane. I love knife edging it. I just, the only thing that could be any better on this airplane is the roll rate, but that's just a personal opinion, preference. I think it could be a faster roll rate and I can change that in the radio. But by default, it's just not fast enough for me, but there are other planes that can, can do that. Like the Valiant, it, it rolls a lot faster, so. But this one knife edges well and it flies inverted well and some other things. It's also just awesome. What do you guys want to see? One flight or two today? I will be flying three because I brought three batteries. I intended to fly a little F-16 jet that I have, but it actually had a nasty spill. We may put that video out soon enough. It was on shorts or TikTok. Somewhere, it'll be out there eventually. <laughs> Some, somewhere. If it's on TikTok, it'll be on shorts too. Yeah. Which is YouTube, you know guys. So make sure you're subscribed. Love these inverted outside loops. And I just feel really comfortable and confident. Abby, something about this plane, you know, I just flew the Turbo Timber like 10 times in one day, the original right. Turbo Timber. And something about this plane just feels significantly better. Could be that it doesn't have a chipped prop like ours does. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> This one just feels really locked in. You know, I've been flying without safety this entire time. And uh, it was really annoying. It's just the confidence is, is there. Which a lot of times is the demise to uh, <laughs> most of my airplanes. <laughs> I don't feel confident. Stay humble. I know. I'm trying. <laughs> it's just fun is what I'm saying. Super fun. Look at that. Is it possible to be humble and do a knife edge super low to the ground is that that's not being humble is it if you want to be humble do you have to do the knife edge 10 mistakes high well that's a humble knife edge let's try it. so that was a boasty knife edge there this is what you call a humble 
No you're, bragging, just doing a night catch. You're funny. Really fun airplane to fly. I, I mean, it's, there's there are so many talking points about this plane that I could sit here and brag about. I, I think just flying it alone kind of shows how awesome it really is. I was just about to ask you, show how it flies inverted. Yeah, I have actually flown a little bit inverted already in this flight. Where are you been? Well, not a full pass though, have you? Uh, not a full pass. So I, I thought. Like something else. Full circle? Can you do it? Yeah. You're climbing. Plane, yeah. You're climbing. I know, I climbed a little bit. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared flying upside down. Very the nice. Controls are a little bit different, you know? Yep. Sort of. They're, they're the same, but different. Yeah. Now you got a nose down to get out of it. What? Nose down to and get out of it. Or outside loop? Inverted outside loop? No, go down. Okay, so like... No, that's no, up. I can't do that. I didn't have enough, I didn't have enough room. <laughs> I had to go upside. I lost you. It's a sign. I don't know. My bad. <laughs> I mean, it's just an awesome plane. You will advance your skills on this airplane. You will absolutely advance your skills. As I just about lose it. <laughs> I was going to commit to a loop and I thought that was pretty low and the wind is blowing. So. Just so you know, right there where it looked bad. I, I took my hand off the left stick to uh -huh. the belly. Sure you did. I did. Sure you I did. did. Let's do a flat pass okay. in the wind. What's the next one? Obviously. <laughs> I was going to say. Well, that was good the wind. I want to put the nose into the wind. And full flaps. So when I went to this event to fly the regular turbo timber, we had more wind than what we have now. And I was straight up kiting. He's going like backwards. Backwards in the air. It was so awesome. I had a milia, so I didn't get a very good shot of it. There you go. It's I mean, pretty I'm funny though. Pretty good here. There you go. Wow. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's fun. <laughs> Throttle up a little bit. So, I mean, I had a lot of practice flying in the wind. So maybe that's what's helping this, you know, a little bit of confidence. Oh! <laughs> I'm never ready for when you start to go down. No, I wasn't either. I have a lot of confidence in you. I was not. I think I have more confidence in you than you have in yourself. Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Skimming the top of the hillside. That's cool. Just does, roll it. Does roll. the hillside say welcome yet? It says meatloaf still. <laughs> it doesn't say meatloaf. Here we go. <laughs> wow. And you don't need a lot of space to fly this plane in. You really don't need more than like a soccer field if you have a, a little bit of practice flying it. You know, you've flown in larger spaces. I mean, I can keep it in fairly good stuff. But, uh, this plane, although some would disagree, I say can be used as a trainer plane. There's a lot to be learned on this. And if you kick it in safe mode, it flies just like a trainer. Uh, there's just a lot of growth to be had. So some guys view a trainer as something that's very limiting. No growth can be had but this one is a trainer with potential of lots of growth. And that to me is a better trainer than something that doesn't allow for growth and just flies slow and boring. I mean, this one, you can put a 3S battery in, turn the safe switch on, and suddenly you've got a trainer. Also has floats and, you know, it's just super well-rounded. Are you trying to scratch your wing or something? No, I didn't try to do that. <laughs> The wind is crazy. Really fun, guys. Blue sky, white clouds, gray skies, dark clouds. No matter what, you can see this airplane. You know, the uh, original Turbo Timber with that blue, it was, it's kind of hard to see in comparison to this nice, pretty airplane. No matter what, on asphalt, I always get a little bounce. Oh, oh sorry, 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 I stepped on his toe. <laughs> That's not easy to recover from. <laughs> I'm just going to fly until my telemetry tells me I'm low. I don't think I did that on the Maiden. I can't remember. <laughs> telemetry, guys, in case you're unfamiliar, there's a mower down there. Let's not go all the way down. Uh, telemetry is going to tell us with the radio when my battery is getting low. It's going to say, hey, man, uh, low battery, time to bring it in. Yeah, so... I'm just going to wait until we get a low battery warning from my radio. This is just a 4S 2200 milliamp battery. It is nothing 
special or fancy. I mean, it is very special and fancy. It's a smart battery, but uh, you know, this airplane has a larger battery cavity now than the originals. And so you could put like a 5,000 milliamp battery in here. I think 4,000 is the highest recommended, but maybe it's 5,000. I cannot remember. Up. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, he went really high. And let's take it. Holy moly, you're <laughs> wild right now. It's not ready. He woke it up. Yeah. I mean, I play around with this. You can play it low throttle and have fun. You can play it mid throttle and be sporty. And then you can go all the way up to full throttle and really have a blast. It'll climb. It'll, it'll just continue to climb forever. I really don't have to worry about... Uh, there. Hear that? That's kind of what I was hoping for. That's, <laughs> That's why you're... <laughs> okay. So the reason it's doing that now is because I was full throttle for a long time, which sagged the voltage. And uh, you notice there, I went down to zero throttle and the alarm went off. That's because the way batteries work, they will, if they're not being used, their voltage will come back up to more of a resting level. So we got the low voltage alarm though. That's good enough for me. I don't need to hear it at a mid throttle rate. So let's just try maybe like half flaps. See if we can get a smoothish landing. This plane is great in grass or asphalt. Oh my goodness. I knew you were wanting to scratch those wings up. I did. <laughs> I, I absolutely did. I lost a little bit of paint on that one. That came in a little bit sideways, but Wow. down and you can fly it again <laughs> so we're looking at right after that 3.65 volts per cell and as i speak my telemetry is telling me we're going up to 3.66 3.67 volts per cell so as i said that that voltage is going to come up i think this alarm goes off at 3.6 volts per cell something like that maybe 3.5 that's ideal that's where you want your alarm to go off you still have two or three minutes of flight to get your plane down if you need to when the alarm goes off at that voltage. And I wanna encourage you guys, everybody, to get in the habit of knowing individual cell voltages rather than total cell voltages because not everybody knows total cell voltages, but everybody can get on a universal language of individual cell voltages. So I can tell you that my battery is at full voltage when it's at 4.2 volts per cell. Some guys will come to me and say, hey, Nate, I need some advice. My battery is a you know, four cell battery. It's supposed to be 14 volts. Uh, and then another guy will come to me and say, hey, Nate, I need some advice. I've got a three cell battery. It's, it's, it's only charging to 10 volts. I know it's supposed to be 11. It's all confusing. Everybody, listen, this is a learning opportunity and I love learning opportunities. All your batteries, all your LiPos, every single one of them from one cell, two cell, eight cells, anything in between has, if it's a six cell battery, it's got six batteries all wrapped up and computerized together to make a six cell battery. And, and each one of those cells, individual batteries, when it's fully charged, should be, unless it's a high volt battery, to be more confusing. But that's not normal, that's, that's racetrack. Crazy guys, you know, love you guys. Uh, 4.2 volts per cell is a fully charged battery. 3.8 volts per cell is a storage charge on your battery. And 3.5 volts, 3.6 volts is where a lot of us like our alarms to go off. And 3.2 volts and lower is getting really low. You don't want to push it down much lower than that. So that's a good healthy battery and that's a good way to talk about batteries per cell. I can't stand when you go to an airfield and guys talk about their, and trust me, the one guy that's talking about his six cell battery at you know 22 volts, no one knows what he's talking about. So let's start talking about per cell. I think it'll help. It's more of a universal language. And let's face it, there is nothing universal about RC. Everyone's got their own connectors and everything. So universal language would be really beneficial to everyone. The wind has picked up a lot. We're getting really gusty now. Check this out though. I did, I have one bit of damage to my airplane uh, from that rough landing, that last one. And this is actually here to save most of my wingtip, this little plastic guard. I'm gonna to have to put a little dab of hot glue on that and place it back in. But it did help save, rather than having a big chunk of foam come out, that's there. And you know, I scuffed up my wingtip, embarrassingly, but it's part of flying. And anybody that says they're perfect uh, or <laughs> doesn't do this kind of stuff, you need to stop watching them or stop listening to them because we all have little mistakes and big mistakes and it happens. And because of that, I wanna say you need to have AMA. 
Academy of Model Aeronautics. I sound like your dad. <laughs> I'm wagging my fingers. A lot of people don't have AMA and they fly. And to that person, I say that's like driving without a license. What are you doing? Or insurance. Or insurance. <laughs> Even worse, because that's what AMA is. It's, it's insurance. You need insurance. I made a little mistake. I scuffed the edge of my wing when I landed. But that could have been a big mistake. I could have hit somebody's car when I landed because of wind, because a bug hit my eye. Who knows? And, and as long as you're flying by the Academy of Model Aeronautics guidelines, which are so simple, just follow them, uh, we can all be safe and, and, and promote the hobby in a seriously healthy, awesome, positive way, and we'll see nothing but growth within the hobby and happiness. So if you're flying without the Academy of Model Aeronautics in your pocket, I want to say shame on you. You need to have AMA. Please and thank you. <laughs> it's linked in the description box below, right by this awesome airplane, the batteries that I flew on. Look, this is this battery is pushing like a few hundred cycles now. How do I know that? I can plug it into my little checker and show you. They're amazing. And uh, it's got, what was that, like a seven and a half, eight minute flight, roughly. Yep. And I could have flown longer, definitely, about two more minutes or so if I really wanted to push it, but that's a good, healthy way to land your battery. And uh, man, there's just, the technology in the hobby now is absolutely awesome. And if you love it too, I'll have a link in the description box below. I do say this could be a trainer plane, but with a little bit of knowledge and maybe a touch of experience or just being exposed to RCs, maybe you have a friend that can just kind of help you a little bit. But if you like this airplane and you have no idea what you're doing with airplanes and you want to work up to something like this, let us know in the comments. If I see your comment, I try my best. I will respond to you with a recommendation within your budget that is a great trainer airplane, ready to fly, bind and fly. Maybe you want to go all out and just get the best of the best. I'll recommend whatever you need within your budget. Just let us know in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for all the support and watching our channel and everything you do for us. And a massive thanks to the big guy upstairs for giving us a beautiful day to come out and fly today. What a successful and fun flight and just awesome time to share this with you. What do you think of airplane week so far? We have more planned for the channel. I can't wait to keep flying. I love flying airplanes. And we're just right in the middle of flying season now with a long summer ahead of us. So I'm extremely happy about that. Thanks to our Patreon supporters. You guys are the backbones to our channel. You know it. We sincerely thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And we'll have the maiden flight of this airplane. That video where I go a bit more in depth about all the changes this airplane has to offer will be popping up right about now.